got a new player joining us today. The dub's been introduced to all the players. Oh, is that... Oh! Has he got him? Snuck out of his crease. No foot behind the line. The one who should be making the decision is this man over here. Not even paying attention. Not making a call or nothing. This is patch 1.16. That's four wickets here. We're going for the Fifer. Imagine getting a Fifer on your debut. Oh, what a silly shot to play. Three for eight. What is going on, guys? I've lost count on how many balls I said I wanted to play in here. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And today... We're going to be looking at Cricket 22 career mode. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so welcome to career mode. Help pop-ups are available at any time within the career mode menus. Press options where you see the help tooltip. So selection difficulty determines how hard it will be for you to be selected for each match and your chances of being selected by teams at a national and international level. Auto skip to career play, it automatically skips any action where your player isn't playing to allow you to play immediately. You can change these settings later, so don't worry if you're not sure. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, um, we are going to go with selection difficulty hard. Auto skip to career player, we're going to disable that for now. Here we are. Look at the green track down there. Lovely. Okay, so this is a thing where um, apparently if you turn the commentary down or off, um, apparently you won't be able to hear what the players are saying. So it's all going to be subtitles, unfortunately. So, hello, yes, you've reached the Cricket Talent Agency. I'm sorry, but who are you? Look, I'm in a terrible hurry, and I'm meant to be, meant to be getting a call back from a future superstar in a moment. So, who did you say you were again? Alright, so I'm going to go with my regular custom character. Um, we're going to go Mashiba Dub, so I'll put that in there now. So, my name is Mashiba Dub. Accept, continue. Yes, that's right, of course. I'm going to do my best to remember your name, but please forgive me if I forget down the track. I swear, I can't remember the names of some of the international superstars I represent. And you're a wristband specialist, aren't you? Well,. I don't know where you heard that actually, despite being a wrist spinner, but we're going to change them options up, so let's do that. Alright, so I've decided to go batting all rounder in the top order, who does bowl occasional wrist spin. So I'm a top order batting all rounder and a wrist spin bowler. Let's do that. I'm um, sorry, must have got you mixed up with someone else, but we can make this work. Now I understand your career goal is to earn one of those rare baggy green caps. Yes, of course. Got it. I'm on a roll today. I'm sure you'll achieve all your goals in your career, but everyone has to start somewhere first. With your talent, we'll be able to get you into any domestic club. So tell me, which region catches your fancy? Well, I'm going to go somewhere different this time. I feel like exploring. Um, I was going to go Victoria, New South Wales, maybe even Queensland. But we're going to go off track here. We're actually going to, we're actually going to head to the southern redback so south australia we're gonna we're going to uh go to let's go there good move a lot of the world's greatest come out of there now tell me which club did you want to start your career at okay so we have a list of clubs from around the state of south australia so we are going to go oh there was quite a fair few in here I feel like representing something something huge. So we're going to go South Adelaide. Why not? Another great choice there. They've got a great coach and facilities and are really focused on talent development. You'll make good strides there. I'm actually at the club's office right now. Wow, he's a bit eager, but let's get into it. Taking the initiative, huh? Love to see it. Okay, let me get a coach on the phone and we'll organize your first meeting. All right, great. Thank you. Talk to you later. Okay, let's see how we prep up in episode one of career mode here on Cricket 22. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so we're in the academy now. Um, and it appears we don't have a player already pre-existing, which is my bad. I should have really got on top of that before entering career mode, but I really wasn't 
thinking ahead of time. But um, I'm going to go ahead and fix all this up and we will see on the other end. There we go. So Mashiba Dub is all ready to go. As you can see there, we're sporting a one of the kookaburra bats there. We've gone with number 34 and we've gone with the color scheme of the channel, black and red. So with that, let's get into the rest of this career mode. Hello there, welcome. I was told you'd be dropping by. Sorry, you've caught us a little unawares. I haven't even had lunch yet, but that's not important. What's important is you're here. So let's get you set up and running. Can you start by giving me a summary of yourself as a player? I know I should know this already, but humor me and tell me in your own words. Okay, so what do we have here? Big hitter, steady builder, shot maker, focused, defensive. Oh, okay. Um, focus, I keep a clear mind and focus on my batting technique. When bowling, I try to see the bat. Um, shot maker, I make shots all part of the ground when... Okay, alright. To be honest, I do like to get the ball to turn, so we're going to go shot maker in turn. Understood. Those abilities will certainly be good for the team. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't help work through your weaknesses. So tell me, what part of your games are you un which part of your game are you unhappy with? So batting weakness, spin, pace, they're pretty self-explanatory. Control, power, balance. Uh, batting wise, I don't get the amount of power out of my shots. As I want to. Yeah, that feels like a problem within this series, unfortunately. So I'm going to go with that. Bowling weaknesses. Bowling weakness. Accuracy. Effort. Special delivery. Control. Balanced. In regards to bowling, I don't have any major strengths or weaknesses. I'm going to go balanced. Because I have no idea. I think we can do something about that. Now. Can you also tell me, what do you think of your strengths are? What do you think your strengths are? Um, okay, so these like perks. Uh, fun times. We'll work through these, come up with my perks, and I'll see you all once they are all done. All right, so there we go. What I've chosen is um, I've decided to go with four batting perks, two bowling perks, and one fielding perk. Uh, the reason being because I'm a, a batting all-rounder. decided if I had four batting and two bowling that'd be just great fielding will not be an issue here as we will have minimal amounts of work to do in the field we'll probably only just see um, one ball being bowled as a fielder per game or per innings and that is about it so it won't matter about that whatsoever so we have the accumulator traditionalist batting master slogger toss it up fight sim and bounty rider that's great to hear. I think you're going to add to this team nicely and we'll be glad to have you. So finally, let's talk about your fitness. How good are you feeling out there at the moment? Well, let's see now. Focus on my core strength, focus on my agility, moving well. I'm fast, I just can't run around all day. I feel like I can run all day, just maybe, this, maybe not sprint that fast. I think I'm good all around shape, not outstanding at anything. Mm. I'm fast, just can't run around all day. I'll go with that. You're fast and responsive. If it's okay, I'd like to put you in the infield. Uh, definitely not. So, I'm going to go outfield. Point square legs, fine. Middle for middle. And that's what I'm going to do. I think... I think these seem... I think these seem like good positions for me in the field. Not like it's going to matter. Well, that's all I need to know, and what you need to know is we have a match tomorrow, but before that, the rest of the team are just about done with their training, so I'll introduce you to everyone. All right, let's go and do that. Let's go and introduce ourselves to the team. Let's be a good sportsman here. Start off on the right foot. As we know, this career mode is going to be very immersive, and it's going to involve a lot of things based on decision-making down the line, so let's start off on the right foot as we load in here. Listen up everyone, we've got a new player joining us today. We've needed some fresh blood in this team and they've got plenty of potential. Let's make sure they're feeling welcome and good to play out there. 
So go bowling or something you kids like to do after training to get to know everyone better. Coach's orders. I'll leave you to get settled in now. All right, guys, welcome in. All right, here we go. Dove's been introduced to all the players. Let's see how he fares here in South Australia. Interesting times ahead in episode one. So, can either play as ourselves or play South, Austra uh, South Adelaide, I'm sorry, at the Port Adelaide Gardens. So, I'm just going to play as myself, see how we go. Um, we'll probably have this game, and if we're assigned training afterwards, we may have a go at that. But, yeah, let's just get into our first game. Starts at 10 a.m. Port Adelaide versus South Adelaide. Alright, so before we head into the Club T20 game, I'm just going to change this to hard. I'm not going to go to hardest, because I know how challenge that, challenging that is. Um... I like a challenge, but hardest will get me nowhere. Um, it'll be it'll be not fun and challenging. It'll just be frustrating to the point where I won't want to play. So we're going to leave it at hard for now, and the rest of the settings are going to be left as default. Whoops. Let's hope I didn't change that. No, I did not. Good. Thank you very much. Let's head down to the ground. Here we are. Our first game. Port Adelaide versus South Adelaide. And it looks like Port Adelaide are in their home ground. Uh, let's see there. I don't see any familiar players. We are batting at five. Of course we are. Not bad, but not great. It would have been nice to be at three or four in my opinion. But we're not going to argue with that at the moment. Looks like a fairly good pitch to be playing on. Hopefully we get a smack first. Uh, a coin has been tossed by South Adelaide, of course, the away team, our team. We've won the toss, and what are we going to do? Conditions hard, dry. And we are going to bowl for whatever reason. Lovely. So let's see if we have a go at the ball here, or whether we just get into the second innings and start batting. Uh, we are going to watch one ball here, and then we're going to simulate to our player... No. Nah. Beautiful first ball there by Asaya Doyle. Right arm fast medium ball. We're going to skip and see whether we get a bowl. Looks like we are. Right arm wrist spinner. On debut in our blue and red pajamas. <laughs> they definitely look like PJs. Oh, good lord. Yep. Oh. Good ball, and just one run. Good start here by Duff. The first of many. And hopefully we only bowl that part-time stuff, because we don't want to be bowling as much as I have on my personal account. Oh, is that... Oh! Has he got him? Yes, he has! Second ball, first wicket. Wow, what a start. Enough turn there, off the pitch, into the right knee, and that has hit middle stump every single day. Wow. Lewis Barber gone for eight. All right, so let's have a look at that again. Dub with beautiful turn there, spins off into the knee, hits middle stump. This bloke here at slip grabs the ball, Lawson, and just a beautiful start to a career here on Cricket 22. Let's have a look at that one more time. Ball is only five overs old. Off a flat track and it's spinning like we're in the fourth day of a test match. That's beautiful stuff. Dove to continue with his leg breaks. Yep. Oh, there is a bit of turn out there. Oh, might have been bad on that one. They get through for a single there. Was worth the appeal. Is that going to be leg wise or is that off the bat? It may have been off the bat. Okay, so that was definitely bad on that. Good call by the umpire. 
Yep, well, yep. that ball is definitely turning, but the batsmen have got the upper hand on that one and has decided to smack that one past square leg over the top for four. And it looks like we've been chucked the ball again. Yes, I've decided to go number 34 this time rather than number 24. Uh, only reason being is because Dub believes he's 10 times better than what he was in Cricket 19. So let's see if he can prove that. And he already has cer certainly made a great start thus far. Yep. I think he's gone. I think he's been stumped. Hold on. What happened here? Let's go through with normal speed first. Okay, it looks like he was dropped there, but what's this? Eh? What is going on? Okay, so beautiful delivery. Leg break, that's turning. Beautiful stuff. Now let's see if he got any bat on that. I definitely heard an edge-like sound. Okay, so there's definitely edge on that. And the... And the wicketkeeper Frank's here, just standing, not even worrying about the ball. Flies over the top of the bows. That is extremely close. Hits him in the hip. Down goes the ball. All right, that's fair enough. And now look at this. The batsman here, number 50, Braun. All right, so that's fair enough. Recovers the ball. Braun has snuck out of his crease. No foot behind the line. And the bowels are being dislodged. Is that not a stumping? Is that not a run out? Or is the ball deemed dead in this situation? I don't think so. Because we're already appealing. What? Somebody explain what's going on here. Dub bowls a beautiful leg break delivery. It turns off the track. Braun edges it to this man, the wicketkeeper, Franks, who gets hit in the hip. Doesn't even think about catching the ball. Okay. We are already appealing. Dub's appealing. This guy at slip will be appealing, as well as the rest of the crew in the outfield. And then here, Franks picks up the ball. Decides to go for a stumping. And for whatever reason, as you can see, bounce dislodged. Foot is nowhere near the line. Everyone appeals. And this guy here, who is the umpire in front of the crease at the non strikes end, decides to shake his head. Not even like it's his decision. The one who should be making the decision is this man over here, who is not even in the right position he turns to <laughs> to the boundary, not even paying attention, not making a call, or nothing. When everyone is appealing for a stumping. Unbelievable stuff. This is patch 1.16. Oh my good lord. Yeah! And gone! Wow. And Batsman trying to loft it up over the wicket keeper. Gets a tiny faint edge straight to the man behind the stumps. Connor Braun out for 30. Dub gets his second. So there's the edge. Looks like he was going to scoop it up over the square leg umpire or over that man there at, uh, at a boarding square leg like position. And instead edges it. The bat goes swinging. And Franks decides to put his gloves up this time. And that's the second for Mashiba Dub here in Cricket 22 career mode. What a great start for a part time bowler who is a batting all rounder. Bowling leg breaks in a T20 club game. I came in with no expectations of bowling. Um, considering I've played career mode on my personal account and got nowhere with it. And that's probably too high. 
hoping I'd get a swing with the bat and try to make use of being in the top order, which is number five. But we'll see how we go. We've been throwing the ball again. Two for seven off two. Ball's definitely doing its job here on this flat track. It's probably more of a batting surface. I'm surprised with a nine over old ball that it's been turning the way that it has. Peeling, I think he's moved too far. It's probably missed leg stump that one. That's fairly understandable. Yep. Oh, that's gone high in the air. Where is that going? There's a man out at long on. Will he be able to catch it? Yeah. Yes, and he's got him. That's the third wick of a dub. What a beautiful wicket. Going for the big six. For the big boundary. Over the man up, long on, and number 64 grabs it. Dodd, caught Dodd, bold Mashiba dub. That's three in his T T20 club debut. Wow. I'm in shock how well this has actually turned out. And that's four runs. It's going to end his third over now. Got one over the bowl. And that was quite shocking. That was going down the leg side a bit too much. Of course, it's going to be hit around the corner for four more. So it looks like our talents are going to be used further here as we get a fourth over. We're done. Yeah. And another one's gone. Wow. That's four wickets here. We're we going for the Pfeiffer. Imagine getting a Pfeiffer on your debut. And this is our debut on our career mode on YouTube too. I don't have any high hopes here, but there is a chance. There's a few more balls remaining in this over. Can we get a Pfeiffer? There is two balls left. This would be incredible. I did not plan this. I wasn't expecting anything with the ball. Let's see how these final two balls go in our career mode. Oh, what was that? He swings the bat. The ball into the stumps. Look at this. This is insanity. And there's our Pfeiffer on debut. <laughs> what a silly shot to play. And he knows it. <laughs> Five wicket haul in our first game here on YouTube. Episode one of career mode. Number 34 believes he's 10 times better than what he was. When he debuted on YouTube the first time, Mashiba Dub has done well. Yep, yep. And they're going to appeal. We know it's probably going down leg, but why not? Six for 63 after 12. Dub bowling five wickets in his four over spell. And here we go. We're going to get a chance with the, with the Willow now the on debut. Before we do that, we're going to have a look at the scorecard and see how Port Adelaide went. So they ended up getting 102 all out after 18.2 overs. We bowled 4 overs, 5 for 14, economy rate of 3.5, only one extra bowl. That is incredible stuff. One maiden as well, the only player to receive a maiden, uh, well, to bowl a maiden in the entire innings. Unbelievable stuff. Oh my goodness, it's 2.1 overs, three for eight. We are in desperate straits here. Can we get ourselves out of trouble? Three for eight, what is going on, guys? Yep. Yeah, mate. Round the corner for one. So we've just lost another one now, four for 12. We are in big trouble here despite the amazing Batting perform, uh, yep. bowling performance, I should say, and that's through the gap. Beautiful drive there. Can we get two? We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing hard. Gets two. Just goes to show that this is a team game. No matter how good you are as a solo act, you need to have the rest of your team. 
to win a game. And hopefully the boys can stay out there because it's 4 for 14. We have a power play employed. Yikes. Should go to our advantage. No. However, it's failed to go our way thus far. Let's see how we fare, though. That was a silly shot, and I knew it was as soon as I hit it that way. So, 4 for 15 after 5.1. Yikes. Yep. Shot. We'll only get one there. I don't mind playing that shot. However, there's a delay um, after the animation. And because of that, you have to really hurry up and run to the non-strikers. And it's a bit of a pain, really. So we have the finger spinner in. Steve Howell for Port Adelaide. And we're going to face 4 for 20 now. All we've got to do is stay in. Might be able to get a cheeky single there, and we have. Why not? Get that scoreboard ticking over. The right armor is coming into the attack. So four for 23 after seven. And the field is scattered. Power play no longer in effect. Yep, yep. Okay, boy, boy. Just the one. Need 80 off 78, so it's pretty much a runner ball. So we don't need to do anything silly, really, as long as we stay out there. And as soon as I say that, we've lost another one. Yikes. Oh, well, that's going to be a wide. Sure it's. Oh, and he's edged it. That was a silly shot on my behalf. I thought I'd hit one through the covers, get a cheeky single, but instead it's decided to snick off the side of the bat. And on debut, we've made six runs off 12, strike rate of 50, six for 33. Our team is in trouble. Let's see how they go. Okay, and somehow, some way, we have actually won this game. It looks like South Aust looks like South Adelaide have actually pulled through and worked together and decided to get the runs required without doing anything stupid. As you can see there, Theodore Franks, the wicket keeper, 49 not out, off 44 deliveries. Beautiful stuff. Despite the uh, bowling attack there, you can see 3 for 15, Harry Diaz, Sutherland, 2 for 14, Gilmore, 2 for 24. And there we are, Dove, 6 off 17. Um, I got caught behind off Diaz. Um, silly shot, just trying to go through the covers for a single. Um, just bad timing, I guess, on my behalf. And there are the bowling figures there. Very, very tough task today, despite the low score. And we get a W on the board as we... And, wow, hold on a minute before we go on. Player of the match is actually Mashiba Dub for his Pfeiffer, 5 for 14 on debut. I seriously can't believe that. No matter if I look at it twice, three times, we win by three wickets, get player of the match, five wicket haul. You can't write that sort of stuff. At the end of each and every game, you can see the game rewards there, the level ups for batting, bowling, etc, etc. You see the batting AP, footwork plus one, drive plus four, cut plus two, hook and pull plus three. So you get rewarded for each time you do a certain shot or a certain method of play, as you can see there. So in between level two and level three, the batting AP, we saw the scores go up. Bowling AP, off break orthodox plus 13, a special delivery 10, turn plus two, uh, arm ball slider plus three, top spinner plus six. And in the field, we did absolutely nothing, and that is expected. Oh, uh huh. You keep that up, please. If there's any indication of what you can do, we're really going to be we're going to be very glad. 
So I'll be here for you whenever you want to come down the nets and practice. I'll plan out a bit of a drill for you based on how you've been traveling. But you can also decide to have a bit of a bowl or a bat. The training is in the nets. It will keep you informed and grow your skill base over time as you gain more experience. So I hope to see a lot of you here. Anyway, I've got a drill plan out for you today. So let's get to it. There we are with the red zinc looking absolutely crazy. All right, so here we go. This is what the coach has decided us to do. We are in the nets. It looks like we're facing off against team mate Doyle. Oh, bowl me the short stuff already. Wow. Okay, so we're going to have just a few smacks in here. See how we go. Oh, that one looked like it was off the helmet. All right, so we'll play three or four more deliveries here. Good stuff. I don't know how my style is going to affect the way that I bat. I'm not too sure. Um, I think I chose style 4. Quote me if I'm wrong if you guys can recognize if it is another style, but I'm pretty sure I usually go with style 1 or 2. So this is a little bit out of my out of my realm so to speak, but I'm definitely happy with it so far. Alright, beautiful shot. We'll have one more. I've lost count on how many balls I said I wanted to play in here. So we'll have one more of Doyle, who just seems to be bowling stuff way over our head. And just taps around the corner, and that'll do us. So, same thing occurs as it does after a game in the nets as well. So you can get your levels up if you're in there long enough, or you can get all your batting AP skills up if you really wanted to if you wanted to spend enough time in there but that's going to be enough time for me in there today bowling AP it looks like it's gone up but it still has all zeros there I have no idea why building nothing as well all right so on the next episode um, we're going to be at the South Adelaide cricket grounds it looks like we're playing a home game we're going to be versing off against Port Adelaide once again. However, this time it's going to be in a club 50 over um, round one of the tourney. So that's going to do it here on our Cricket 22 career mode episode one. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day night wherever you may be and we will see you on the next one. All right, bye guys.